Hi there, my name is Satya and I am from IQ Ideas. In this video, I am going to show how to complete the online application process for the UGAT 2018. The very first step would be to open a web browser and type in https colon double slash apps.ima.in slash UGAT 2018 slash. This leads you to the main page of registration. In case the process is complicated and you are not able to type, you can simply search for IMA UGAT. When you search for IMA UGAT, the first link which opens is the UGAT Management College's IMA link which takes you to this very same page. So now that we are on this page, we go to the quick links section and click on the online registration by candidates for May 2018 UGAT. When you click on this, you are led to this page where on the left you have information about UGAT, the schedule, the clarification, structure of the test, information regarding the admit card, list of participating colleges, test centers, five choices for participating institutes where you want your UGAT score to be sent and so on. The first thing to do is to register. Either you can click the option one to apply online by uploading image of your photograph and signature online itself or the second option is to apply online without uploading image of photo and signature in the form. Here you may have to print the application form and send it manually. I am going in for the first option where along with my application I will also be uploading the image of my photograph and signature. When I click on this it says Click here to view guidelines to appear online. First is a fresh candidate must create the login and already logged in candidate can reprint the application. I click on the view guidelines to apply online. When I do this, it opens a PDF which gets saved on my computer. The PDF which has been saved on my computer contains the guidelines. So first I open up this PDF to see what are the guidelines which have been given by the IMA. I will read all this information very carefully because it will tell me what to do and what care is to be taken, what all information is required to be filled in by the candidate when the application form for the undergraduate aptitude test, the undergraduate admission test for 2018 is being done. So we are waiting for the PDF image, the PDF file to open up. Once the PDF files opens up, it will contain the information which I strongly suggest that every candidate who is filling in the application form must go through thoroughly. So this form, this uh, PDF has opened. The general instructions is a new candidate is to create a login, keep the essential documents ready. Then logged in candidate must fill in the application form upload images, make the payment and view the final application. Next, check the status of the application and when ready, the admit card can be downloaded. Detailed instructions are kept. I need a valid email ID, my personal details, educational qualifications, my scanned photograph in JPG, my signature in JPG, a demand draft if required or I can make payment through debit credit or net banking. So go through all these things and once you are done so, we are ready to start the application process. So I am a fresh candidate, I click to create my login. By clicking on that link, it takes me to the registration page. The name of the candidate, I enter my name. My date of birth, I enter the same. My email ID. and confirmation of my email ID. I have to make sure that it is the same as above. The CAPTCHA code for confirmation that I'm a human. Have I read and understood the guidelines for applying online? Yes. Have I read and understood the step-by-step -step process? Yes. It gives me a warning that data entered in this form cannot be edited or modified. So I better make sure that all the spellings and information so far given are correct. I click on the submit button and once I have clicked it says successfully logged in an acknowledgement has been sent to my email ID. 
So now I click on proceed to login where it takes me to this page. If I check my email then I have received an email from IMA. I have received an email, uh, no that is some other email. Check the all mail section as well if it doesn't primarily appear in your first inbox. Well, I haven't received any email so far, but that's fine. So I go ahead with my uh, login. I enter the email ID which I had registered. I go and confirm my date of birth. Here I enter the CAPTCHA code which has been given and I submit the information. When I do so, it shows the status where all the actions are yet to be done. The first action is to fill the application. So I click on fill application where it asks whether I'll be taking the on the offline paper based test and that's what I select. Yes, I'll be giving the pen and paper test. The program which I wish to join, whether it is hotel management, pure BBA, BCA integrated or both. Those who are interested in the management programs, the BBA integrated MBA programs should take the second option. Those who wish to give hotel management should choose the first option. In case you want to select both, you need to select the third one. This year I'm planning to appear for both the BHM and the BBA uh, sections. So I select my third option. Please make your choice according to your choice. My choice of centers, I fill Ahmedabad as my first test center choice. And in case I am not allotted Ahmedabad, I will be taking Surat as my second center. The name of the candidate, Mr. I have already filled in the detail before and that has been replicated here. My date of birth is already there. I select my gender. I select my nationality. I select my category. Now my address for communication, I will be filling the address where I want all the information to come. my city, the state and my pin code. My email ID is already there. I do not have a landline. I will be giving my mobile number here. Are you a person with disability? In my case it is no. So I need not fill in this. If you are a candidate with disability you will need to confirm the next few details. My status of 10 plus 2 as I've already completed it, I will be selecting past. If you have already appeared but have not got the result yet, you will select appeared result awaited. If you have yet not given, then you will write appearing in qualifying exam. As I've already completed my 12th, I'll write past. Percentage is 10 in 10 plus 2, in percentage is 82%. My stream I'll select as science. In note that in case of CGPA or letter grades, you have to give the equivalent percentage of marks as per the norms of the university. So in case you have got a CGPA or a uh, letter grade, then check with your institute how to convert it into a percentage and put the percentage option here. Now I hereby affirm that all the details given to me by true and correct, I click here and then I click on save. So application details have been successfully saved. I click on home. It shows that my first process of filling the application is complete. Now I go to uploading of photograph and signature. I choose file. I have kept my image ready. So I go to the place where my image has been saved. I select my uh, photograph and click on open and upload my photograph. My photograph is here. The same I do with my signature. I have my signature ready. I open and upload it. So my photograph and signature are the ones which I have uploaded here. So I click on next. 
Now, it takes me directly to the payment option. It gives me the choice of demand draft, credit card or net banking. In this case, I'm going to fill in through my credit card. Once the payment has been through, you will not be allowed to change. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Do you agree that you get 2000 admission guideline and affirm the statement made in information is true and it will be my responsibility to establish the same as and when required and so on? Yes. I click on submit. So now it takes me to the payment gateway where I'm supposed to pay an amount of 650 plus my bank service charges. So I confirm this and proceed to my payment gateway. It takes me to the payment gateway where uh, I'll be paying by credit card. So I'll be entering my credit card information here, which obviously has been masked for security purposes. The moment I click on make payment, it takes me to confirm my uh, password. So please keep your password ready or the OTP in case you decide to use an OTP. I enter my password and click on submit. My application has now been accepted and my application form is generated. So I'm not because I've made the payment online and already uploaded my photograph and signature. I'm not required to send this or any document to IMA. I'm just required to make a print of this. So I print a copy for my own reference and I take a print and save it. And I save. So now I've already got a print of this and this is practically my complete registration for uh, you got 2018 so this process is done and uh, if I close this window now, now any new instructions are left uh, so I close this window and uh, that's pretty much the entire process which is supposed to be done I just check my mail once again I haven't received any notification but as my receipt has been printed I don't think there should be any problem uh, already logged in candidates I go and I log in once again and when I do this the page has not been suitably refreshed so I just refresh this page once again and uh, not able to select it but that should not be a problem so basically this is the process of uh, registration for the UGAT right so please read all the instructions very carefully what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to revisit uh, my login to show you what is the status of the four processes we have already seen that the first process was stick mark ah yes so now I enter my details and uh, my captcha code and when I log in as you can see it clearly indicates that all my four processes have been completed so please be very careful in filling in the details check all the spellings uh, uh, the communication address email ID and phone number are very important and uh, wish you all the best prepare well and hope you get the institute of your choice. This is Satya from IQ Ideas signing off. Have a good day.